What is the renowned Mazda SP? The rotary engine is maintained by the Mazda Iconic SP EV concept. The Mazda Iconic SP is one of the newest and most intriguing electric concept cars to be unveiled. It has a unique motor and a rotary range extender. Despite being larger than the existing Miata, the concept's rotary range extender motor may portend future changes to the Roadster. Ahead of the Tokyo Auto Show, Mazda has revealed the Iconic SP, giving additional information on the sleek sports cars that was initially seen virtually as the Vision study model last year. Electric motors drive the Iconic SP, and when necessary, a twin rotor rotary engine serves as a generator to replenish the battery. Approximately 10 inches longer than the current Miata, the design boasts a modestly sized screen and little tactile switches within its interior. Mazda unveiled the Vision Study model, a sleek sports vehicle concept, a year ago and we speculated that it was a sneak peek at an electric MX-5 Miata. In order to properly unveil the idea before the Tokyo Auto Show in 2023, Mazda has now brought it back. Known as the iconic SP, this sports car has a hybrid rotary engine and is actually much larger than the well-known Roadster from Mazda. Although Mazda only released a few data regarding the iconic SP, the carmaker did provide its measurements. With a nearly 102-inch wheelbase, the idea is 164.6 inches long, 72.8 inches wide, and 45.3 inches height. This results in a wheelbase that is 11 inches longer, 4 inches broader, 3 inches shorter, and around 10 inches longer than a Miata. Under the hood is a hybrid system that combines a twin rotor rotary engine with an unknown number of electric motors. When Mazda claims that the rotary engine generates power, it is likely referring to the fact that it charges the battery and extends the vehicle's range rather than powering the wheels directly. The MX-30e Skyactiv REV from Mazda, which was unveiled earlier this year for international markets, has a similar configuration with a single rotor engine acting as a battery generator. In addition to using carbon neutral fuel, Mazda claims that the iconic SP's engine can also burn various fuels such as hydrogen. With 365 horsepower, the Svelte sports vehicle should accelerate rather quickly. In addition, the idea is set to function as a power source, enabling you to use appliances when you're outside or during a blackout. The concept, according to Mazda, is intended for buyers who desire a car that simply embodies the joy of driving and has a 50 to 50 weight distribution ratio and low center of gravity. The small rotary engine allows the Svelte bonnet to sit low beneath the front fenders, and the bodywork is exceptionally smooth, resembling a piece of sea glass that has been worn smooth by waves for ages. What look to be pop-up LED headlights are positioned behind a replica of the Mazda Smile grille. With a small screen to the right of the steering wheel and many sliders on the center console, the cockpit is straightforward. Behind the steering wheel is a little digital gauge that shows a G-force meter and a track layout of the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. The inside surfaces seem to be covered in opulent suede upholstery. The idea is painted in a striking shade of viola red to match the interior red stitching. It's not entirely obvious what the iconic SB stands for. While the concept is larger than the Miata and has a completely different power plant than the 2-liter inline-4 found in the MX-5, a range of Miata vehicles will be on display at Mazda's Tokyo Auto Show. It's possible that the rotary hybrid configuration seen here will come to pass because Mazda has previously stated that the Miata would be somewhat electrified for its next generation. In any case, it's a comforting glimpse into a future in which Mazda will continue to focus on producing lightweight and compact sports cars. The prototype automobile has a unique two-rotor hybrid drivetrain that can produce electricity from carbon neutral sources and run on a variety of fuel, including hydrogen. A special two-rotor hybrid powertrain that extends power and runs on a variety of fuels, including hydrogen, is equipped with the iconic SP. For the automobile, the manufacturer aims for a 50-50 weight distribution. The vehicle is expected to produce about 365 horsepower. The Mazda MX-5 has long been waiting for its bigger brother, the concept car. The feeling was aptly expressed by Mazda CEO Masahiro Moto, who encapsulated the company's unwavering commitment to enrich life in motion for those we serve. If Mazda chooses to put the iconic SP into production, it will be a fitting tribute to its legendary history, as well as a significant step towards a bright, sustainable, and thrilling future. More people wish that Mazda will reintroduce the RX-7 than that Oasis would set a new record. 
Mazda bears some of the blame for continuously making us wonder if one of the most recognizable sports vehicles from the company will make a comeback. Heck, when it unveiled the RX Vision concept back in 2015, it threw the rumors about a potential new RX-7 into overdrive. Nevertheless, Mazda has unveiled yet another RX-7 concept homage, eight years later. Will this company have enough stones to construct it? Indeed. The Mazda Iconic SP concept features a two-rotor rotary engine beneath its elongated hood, making it maybe the most ideal modern interpretation of the FD Generation RX-7's lines to date. However, the remainder of the drivetrain isn't quite what you would anticipate. This is because the concept's rotary engine has been reduced to a generator that extends the concept's range and recharges its batteries. This implies that the beloved RX sports car won't get a stick shift or a true successor. Rivals have come and gone, but none have been able to challenge the Mazda MX-5's unshakable hold on the top spot in the sales chart for small sports cars. This is true even though Mazda has made several minor improvements to the vehicle throughout the nine years that the current ND variant is getting close to that age. Another is scheduled for 2024, with the goal of improving the MX-5's in-car technology and driving dynamics. The only notable changes to the MX-5's sly, sharply angular form are in a new paint color called Aero Gray and updated front and rear LED light modules. Rather than concentrating on improving the MX-5's drivetrain and chassis, Mazda has made subtle adjustments to make the car more engaging to drive. The new asymmetric limited slip differential fitted to 2-liter MX-5s has been optimized for the best lockup performance both when coasting and when applying throttle. Specifically, a stronger locking effect in this portion of the turn is made possible by the improved hardware, which also allows for a more stable attitude entering the corner. Although Mazda did not create the Wankel rotary engine, its sports cars, most notably the RX-7, helped to popularize it. Since the rx H production ceased in 2012, the company hasn't produced a vehicle like it. Although Mazda has subsequently brought back rotary power in the MX-30 R EV as a range extender, the iconic SP demonstrates how rotary power may be brought back in its most iconic form. The MX-30 R EV's single rotor engine charges a battery pack. In contrast, the iconic SP's two rotor engine suggests a series hybrid strategy. Regarding the electric portion of the drivetrain, Mazda provided little details, just stating that it can produce 365 horsepower and move a 3,196 pound car. Mazda also touts a perfect front rear weight distribution of 50-50. Over the last 10 years or so, there has been an exponential growth in the demand for electrically powered vehicles. It needs to be seen if this is the much needed perfect solution to the global issues of pollution, fossil fuels, and renewable energy for the automobile sector. Notwithstanding the controversy surrounding the electrification of our vehicles, the technology has advantages. The speed at which technological innovations are being launched to address the shortcomings of electric vehicles is accelerating, pushing aside long-standing concerns about weight and range. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.